Hey there. Today we're going to work with Douglas Florian's The Boa. It's a great little chant. It's a great little poem. That's not really a chant. It's just a little poem that's two lines. And again, it doesn't have very many words. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Notice how he uses moa, he invents that word moa, to rhyme with boa. And moa, he doesn't really invent it, it's more, right? That's called a forced rhyme because he's forcing more to be moa. And it's just funny, okay? Well, it's humorous. Well, anyway, there it is. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Done. You could, you could, we could, I could, they could say it in 6 8, a 1 2 3, 1 2 3, triple e meter. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Yeah, triple meter. One, uh, one, uh, 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 ooh, my neck. Anyway, we're going to sing it, or I'm going to sing it today, or say it today, sing it. It's going to be music. We know that. I'm going to sing it today in a duple meter. Bum, 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 bum. Just when, just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and, hang on. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Well, the accents are wrong. Where the stress should be, where the, the louder parts of the poem should be, right? Well, back up. Not, not all words are the same dynamic or the same loudness or softness otherwise or same length if everything was the same length and loudness it would sound like this but it's not but it's not some things have greater space between them sometimes we elongate we elongate Elongate, 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 whatever. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, we stretch them out. Anyway, 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 it doesn't matter. What matters is this. Just when you think, right? Just when you think, just think, no bow. Just think, no a bow. Just think. No bow. Just think. No bow. Those are the important um, syllables. Yeah, there are syllables because it's not necessarily all the word. Just when you think you know the bow. And notice I'm accenting, making things a little bit louder. I'm adding some rhythm. You would say that's a beat, but it's really rhythm. It's not a beat. A beat in music is uh, uh, uh. This, that's a beat, and that's boring. But rhythm is biggie to ga pa 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 do ba biggie to pa 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 do biggie to pa 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 do ba biggie to biggie to pa 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 do. Notice the beat just kept going. Okay. Anyway, so there's uh, there's the beat, but it's rhythm. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Notice I put a little hitch at the very end. There was silence. I'll do it again. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. That little space there. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. I got it. I'm by myself, so I should cough into my elbow. There's Moa and Moa and Moa and Moa. I'll even snap there just so we know it. Just when you think you know the Boa, there's Moa and Moa and Moa and Moa. Just when you think you know the Boa, 
There's Moa and Moa and Moa and Moa. <laughs> there we go. All right, now I'm gonna add, that's the rhythm. Now I'm gonna add some music to it. This is a recorder, soprano recorder. You may have one at home. You may not, doesn't really matter. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Okay, so let's go back before I go forward. Let's go back and review. I came, the, the words are Douglas Florian's. I came up with the rhythm just when you think you know the boa. So the rhythm is mine. Not really, but it's mine. The words are Douglas's. The rhythm is mine. And now I'm going to put some notes to it, some pitches up and down, like on the recorder. And if you play the recorder, you could play this on your recorder. It's in uh, E minor, so there's E right there. I think I can... Uh, there it is, perfect. I'm playing it off to the side so you can see things. All right, so there's E, right? E and G, that's pretty simple. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. <laughs> Whatever. Now we're going up to A. That's a B. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. All right, what you're going to do is come up with, well, it has to be a two-syllable word to go with the, the little tune I created and to go with Douglas, excuse me, to go with Douglas's poem. We're going to take the structure of his poem, which we already know, the boa by Douglas Florian, and I forget what anthology it's from but anyway you can find it and you should buy all his books because they're really good and once you're done with them you should give them to somebody else because that's the right thing to do pay it forward all right boa just when you think you know the boa just when you think you know what's a two so a, the parrot why not i just randomly picked the parrot because it has two syllables just when you think you know your, your, oh, 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 your parrot. Just when you n think you know your parrot. They'll eat it, they'll eat it, they'll eat a carrot. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it works. Just when you think you know your parrot. They'll eat it, they'll eat it, they'll eat a carrot. But... Do they eat carrots? I don't know. I think they eat seeds. Maybe not. Maybe they eat a lot of things. I should look on the internet, but I won't. And I could. You should. What do parrots eat? It doesn't matter. What matters is this. I have just when you think you know your or a uh, or the or whatever it is, just one syllable word, a two syllable animal or bird or living thing. Uh, just when you think you know uh, what's another uh, living thing? Well, it could be an, a, a water 
uh, something that lives in the water. Um, trout, trout, salmon. Just when you think you've hooked a salmon, it's swimming and swimming and swimming, and then, bam, it, you've lost it. Salmon, bam, maybe. Just when you think you've caught your salmon, they're swimming, they're swimming, and then bam. Uh-oh. They're swimming, they're swimming, they're swimming, and then bam, you've lost it. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. So it's a but just when you think you know your something, two-syllable word, and then there's something, there's something, there's something, and remember that the last word has to rhyme with the uh, your whatever animal or reptile or bird um, that you choose. That's an octave E right up there. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa, there's moa, there's moa, there's moa. And then if you wanted to, you could have somebody, let's say you want to sing this with your family, you could have somebody go on a table, just... Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. And you could put a little clap there at the end. My my little drumming, diggy 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 which are 16th notes, it really doesn't matter, it just sounds cool. Now that's a little ostinato. It's just right here on the table. Just went, oh man, that's tough. To do that and to sing, it's tough. When you think you know the boa. Okay, hang on, hang on. Music takes practice because it's a skill. It's it's not it's the skill of music that takes practice. Just when you think you know the boa, there's more than moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Those, and you can see I was struggling with that, and you're probably going to struggle with it too if you don't. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Now the reason that that's harder, listen, listen to, pay attention to my hands that you can't see. That's an ostinato. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and, and moa. <laughs> so I kind of did that. That rhythm is a little sophisticated. It's, it's a little more complex. Listen to this rhythm. It's a rhythm as well. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. Now, I didn't have any problem with that. Why? I'll tell you why. Because this rhythm is pretty simple. I'm just taking my hands and going diggy 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 Let me get over oh let me get over here. Diggy 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 and I don't have to think about this. It's like running. You're not thinking about running, you're just running. This is running with my hands. But when I go bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum 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 that's more complex and then i'm taking that thing i've got to somehow keep that going and then i have to sing on top of that and remember the words oh that's a lot to remember that's why we have bands and quite well we have choirs because we can only sing one note at a time and it's wonderful to sing with people but in bands we will have the drummer 
do one thing and we'll have the guitar player do another thing. And then we'll have someone who sings because not everybody can focus on a hundred different things at one time. I'm making this, I'm trying to make this simpler. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and, and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa and moa. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to practice that. But after some practice, I can come back and do a much better job. The, the idea is that you have to practice. And if you're not practicing, like practicing your spelling words, practicing math, uh, math, addition and subtraction, multiplication tables. If you're not practicing your jump shot, if you're not practicing your dribble, if you're not running, if whatever it is, if you're not practicing, it's staying the same. And that is the truth. I'm going to practice. I'll be right back. One of the things that helps me practice musical things while my hands are doing one thing and my uh, mouth is doing something else, singing or there, my, my brain is kind of working on the words and, and so my hands are doing one thing, my mouth is doing another thing. It's sort of like patting and rubbing your belly, right? You've all done that before. Well, maybe not all, but you should. Pat your head, rub your belly, and then switch your hands. It's a good exercise. One of the things that helps me is to close my eyes because then I'm not looking, all right? You're, you, once you close your eyes, then your, your mind has to focus on something other than seeing. And seeing is, uh, we're visual beings. Humans are visual. That is our primary sense. We look at things around us. And if we want to open our ears to hear more acutely, better, then we close our eyes and our ears take up the, uh, take up the slack, so to speak. Okay? So if you're having trouble with some sort of rhythmic thing or musical thing, memorize that musical thing, kind of fingerings or whatever it is, uh, uh, trying to coordinate a strumming pattern, with uh, the lyric or whatever, close your eyes. It may help immensely. Here it is. Remember, that's the ostinato. And the reason I'm talking is because I want to make sure that it's on autopilot. If I can talk, then I pretty much know, <laughs> not really. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's moa and moa and moa. Just when you think you know the boa, there's more and more and more. There it is. Still not perfect, and that's okay. With about 100 years of practice, it'll be better than it was today. Remember, practicing today will make the finished product, whatever that is, better. Will it make it perfect? Don't know, because it's always a performance art, right? If you're painting and you don't like something, you just change it, and it stays there forever until you change it. Music being a performance art, theater, performance art, dance, performance art, you have to, the, the product is right there in front of somebody, and you never know. You never know what's going to happen. That's why you practice. 
So I want you to send me, remember, there, there was a point to all this at some point. Send me your, uh, just when you think you know something, it's based on Douglas Florian's The Boa. You're using his structure. And then you're going to have a new word at the end. And then you're going to have a forced rhyme or a rhyming word uh, at, the, at the end. Just follow that structure and you'll be great. Put it on Mother Child Music Group in Facebook. I want to I want to read and see what you come up with. Like Douglas Florian, I'm just adding this at the end. Like Douglas Florian, he uh, has a picture. He's a, he's an artist, right? He's an illustrator, and then he turned to poetry, which I think is kind of cool. His first gig in art was illustration, and then. Later on in his life, he said, you know, I can write poetry. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I look forward to hearing. Let me finish that idea. So you can illustrate. <laughs> you can illustrate your two-lined poem. I would love to see that and have you share it with me. All right. Thank you for joining us. And remember, this is the best day ever to make music. There's always time to make music. <laughs>